they deliberately made clones um, a thing in this game. Like, that's like, I feel like in Smash, they try to, like, be low-key about it. And they're like, oh, no, we don't do clones. And then next thing you know, you have, like, Transition. all these Marios. You got these freaking pits. You know, you got the Fire Emblem characters. I mean, they're all not the same. But granted, like, you know, some of them are. Wow, I like how you put a parenthesis over his C. Uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so this game is fun. But it, th there, there are a lot of... Uh, qualms with it, I will say, especially with unlocking things in this game, don't make sense. Um, so this guy right here, I don't know his name, I didn't catch it, um, but he can freeze you, and uh, I shout out to Lil Ooch, every time he throws out an ice and freezes you, he always sings, do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if Lil Ooch is watching, but shout out to Lil Ooch. But yeah, so another thing is, since this game is very quick, um, oh. one thing you can do is really utilize your dodge. What? Oh, yeah. So, ba okay, another thing. What he did, right? It's a move that everyone has. It's basically like a three-hit combo into special, which is your... Yes, yes, yes. So, basically, how he did it was... You notice how he swung empty, empty swings? Okay, Mad oh my this, God. this is that a Mad Luck special. <laughs> yeah, this is a Mad Luck special. He d um, basically, what I was saying was... All you have to do is jab, do three, input three jabs and then hit B, and then you get a special move after that that you can't normally input, like, on the regular. See right there? So he's going uh, A, 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 B. And then, he, yeah, that, that's, that's his recovery tactic. <laughs> that is pretty uh, busted, yeah. Yeah, every character has their gimmicks. So it's like, you might, see, like, you probably saw my King of Poon, you're like, dude, that character is broken, right? But then you'll see Mad Luck play this character, and you also think this character's broken. So it's like right there, his up B is, is kind of similar to um, Craig from Rivals of Either. Uh, he just, you know, summons a freaking rock, and then, you know, just, you know, you can recover off that. Yeah, that is, that's stupid. So you notice he did a double jump, and then he had his dodge to come back. He didn't even have to use his up B after that. Yep. Now, Meza's character, I believe her name is Sephora. Uh, you can kind of compare her to, like, Sheik, maybe. Um, but okay. th th the thing is, with, with this game, every, every character, if you try to compare it to a Smash character, it's like they're a bundle of characters. They're not just a complete clone copy. Now, what Meza just did there was he actually activated his burst. Um, I'm not sure what the actual term is for in, in uh, this game, but it is actually a, a tactic where... You fill up this meter whenever you take damage and uh, deal damage. You well, more or less when when you when you receive it, you build up this meter. So once it reaches the half point right there, you get that uh, that burst. And when you can do with it is obviously when you activate it, your attacks do more hit stun um, or knockback, I should say. Okay. Uh, and then you can use it literally at any time. So let's say you're getting knocked back really hard and you activate it, it'll literally stop you where you are on the screen and then it gives you an opportunity, it resets you and you can recover from there. Okay. Yeah. Right. So again, it adds all. It adds on to the recovery tactic. So right now what, what Meza is doing is he's trying to obviously make his way in, but the problem with uh, uh, Malik's character is that he is, uh, what's it called? He, he's being super like oppressive while being defensive because his character uh does a lot of damage um but yeah so Maluk was playing the big guy meza was playing sephora the other one just so people if they're like confused where, where the names are placed it's okay um okay so now meza's going drifter now drifter is not a bad choice in this matchup but you just have to make uh be careful because since uh i, I freaking didn't catch his name since that character is very um he kind of stays back a lot because the, whole, the point of that character's gimmick is to freeze you. If he can't freeze you, it kind of makes it a little bit easier to deal with. So you do not want to play super oppressive in his face to try to get in. You want to kind of wait for them to throw out that first and either reflect it or dodge it. You can actually just dodge it, dodge forward. Uh, basically, it'll look like a roll. Um, and what you'll... Ooh, see, he timed it way too, a little bit too late there. Okay, so I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah. So could this be death if he shoots him up in the air? Yeah. So basically, oh yeah, especially if you're on a on a top, top ledge like that. As long as you start building up that percentage and then like end it with like an up smash, they'll definitely die. Well, see, the thing is, like, the the scaling is barely noticeable in my opinion, huh? Oh, scaling. Oh, oh, right, right, right. And oh, um, if anyone was wondering about like DIing. People are very mixed about it. I don't really feel like there's much DI in this game. 
it doesn't feel like there is. That was a beautiful spike, but he probably will be able to recover from that. Yeah, so, yeah, he has his uh, up B already for him to recover. Oh so, like God. I said, this matchup is very, it's, it's a little more difficult for Drifter. The Drifter, have to, the Drifter have to play really perfect. Um, He has to basically, like, yeah, time his forward smashes because there's it's a multi-hit move. Um, So, if you space it right, you'll also be able to hit them. Oh, he could have up smash right there. Probably would have uh, killed him at the top. But yeah, Drifter. Drifter is a fast character. Whoa, he has a lot of hits within his uh, arsenal, but they don't really deal as much damage as they look. Even though he is holding uh, holding a sword, that was a really good mash. He has a shine. He has a laser. He has a sword. So by on paper, he seems broken, but it is a character just like you saw when I faced Zucchini. It is definitely doable. Very beatable. Okay. Ooh, that was a really good uh, shine bounce right there. He managed to reflect the ice right back to him. Oh, oh, oh see, I don't know how to do that. I play. I also play Drifter, um, and that is a move that actually I do not even know how to do. Okay, yep, so side B. So, again, the, si the, the move where that move right there, that's his side B. Side B, you can, if you if you jump and do it, you can act out of it. If you do it on the ground, the only option you really have is to uh, suck up the, the delay afterwards, like the cooldown, or you can actually shine right at the end of it if you time it right. And you can do it twice, too. So if you jump and do it, you can do it again. Um, the only th however, you have to pay attention. The thing about Drifter is every time he uses his special moves, his meter goes down. Okay. So that's, so it's very, you'll see like, um, I don't want to like discredit Mez or anything, but like, um, uh, more, I would say more experienced, uh, Drifters will, will not try to use their side Bs as much. So that way they can preserve their, um, meter. So that way they have that opportunity to burst and deal a little bit of an extra damage or recover. Okay, I see. Yep. Oh, okay, so he tried to he tried to read uh, him on the forward smash on his approach. Okay, so Madluck is literally sitting here on game point right now. Meza has the opportunity to bring it back though. He's doing a lot better with Drifter, which is very good. Oh, okay. He tried to shine. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, that was a good use of the uh, burst there. He was able to cancel out of the combo that he was even uh, in. Okay, good. Ooh, okay. Yes, yeah, you have to be careful here. Yep. So Malik's being okay. Yep. So Malik, smart enough to drop below him in time to get uh, grab the up smash, and oh, that is that yeah. is one of the things I that keeps me away from Drifter, um, because of all his tools. I feel like I, it's almost like his tools are great, and at the same time they hurt him at the same time because you naturally would want to use his side B to come back. But yeah. when you get knocked at a certain angle, his side B, no matter what, just goes down instead of just horizontal. So you can aim it up, but when you get knocked back for whatever reason, like I have had this problem before, it'll just knock down every time. It's me and Roxo. Okay. Yeah. 